everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a galaxy look featuring Liza from Red Iguana. And off camera I did cover the pinky, the middle finger and thumb with Mia Secret Black from the Fruity Collection. And I've also did a little bit of that on the ring finger. And now I'm coming in with a cobalt gray, beautiful shimmer acrylic that I created using Mia Secret Clear as a base and some pigments that I got from AliExpress. So just going in at the cuticle with those two colors. And now I'm coming in with some white that I mixed. Now this white I use for baby bloomers and I use the Mia Secret French white and clear as a base. So I'm just smearing this around guys. There's really no wrong way to do this. Now I'm going in with some blue. Also again using the same AliExpress pigments. Mia Secret Clear, and this is all a beautiful shimmery blue. It's so cute, so pretty. And some purple, yeah. And I'm working with really wet beads, and it was kind of hard. I didn't know if the colors were gonna come through or not, but in the end, they did. Definitely needed a bit more purple in that corner, though. So more of the Mia Super Black just at the free edge and also gonna follow that up with some more of that um, cobalty shimmery gray. I'm sorry, my hand keeps getting in the shot. Guys, did I mention I'm new at this? Can, can you tell? Yeah? <laughs> if you can't, you're, you're lying, but you're so kind. Sometimes guys, I'm so bad about keeping my side walls nice and thin, but um, I'm getting, I'm getting better and I'm hoping with more practice that'll even be better than better. Okay. So now I'm coming in with some orange from Mia Secret Fruity Collection. And I, it comes with 12 quarter ounce powders and I got those from Amazon. Have you tried Mia Secret? Like, do you like it? I don't have the monomer. This is just monomer from my local nail supply store, but it works, you know? But I do believe, you know, you get the acrylic, try to get the monomer too from the same brand. Also gonna feature a little bit of this orange that was also mixed with the AliExpress pigments and Mia Secret White, just to give that orange a bit of shimmer and, you know, some depth. Now I'm coming in with the Mia Secret Red Apple. I love this red, man. The second I got it, I was like, dang it. I wish this was like a whole ounce or two, not a quarter. <laughs> it's actually my first red acrylic I ever bought. Dip that orange into the orange <laughs> and mucked around a little bit. Guys, you can always add acrylic here or there. It's never finished until you think it is because obviously I'm coming in with more colors where I feel is necessary, so have fun with it. I did. Okay, moving on to the index finger. Now this is where I learned, because I made a lot of mistakes on the ring finger. Shh, don't tell nobody. So I took a different approach and decided to lay down the base colors first. Same as I did, you know, at the cuticle, starting off the cuticle with that Mia Secret Black, actually the cobalt color and then the Mia Secret Black. Fade in that in, nice and neat. Mm -hmm. And then I decided, dude, take, take out those side walls and that free edge, like lay those base colors where they need to go and sort of create the frame for the picture. So coming in at the free edge with some of that cobalt gray and just really building the space where those beautiful colors are gonna sit in the center. Now this black is so pigmented guys and I did try my best but I still got it on some of the cuticles. Um, hoping not to do that with clients but a bit of alcohol goes a long way on the silicone finger but um, on a real person, yeah that's not great. I've heard that, it's not great. So more of this red apple 
from Mia Secrets Fruity Collection. I love this red. It's gonna be gone soon. I love it and I'm sad about that. I hope everyone's staying safe. Definitely leave me some tips on how you've been, you know, coping. Yeah, hope you guys are all safe. And coming in with that orange for me a secret. Oh, and some of that orange that I mixed myself. Hey, it's so shimmery. All of these pigments had a beautiful shimmery pearl finish to it. So, so pretty. Got that purple finding its way in the mix of the orange and the red. It's fine. The colors aren't taking it personally. They know it's for a greater good. And then some blue. Swoosh. <laughs> And some more of that baby boomer white. I actually have this, the top of it, labeled as Baby. <laughs> so funny. I'm just getting that white, you know, wherever to get this look. Guys, I'm in my bathroom doing this voiceover, okay? Three kids, noise central. And then you tell the husband, shh. And then he sometimes make more no he makes more noise than the kids sometimes. So bathroom, locked door, I recommend it. So I think at this point I'm super satisfied with the way those nails look. And now it's time for clear capping, which I suck at. So here's a tip I got from uh, V Nailed It. She says, just go in with your brush and some monomer just before you cap and it'll take care of any bubbles. And what I also noticed is because my, you know, liquid to powder ratio is kind of off, it also takes care of the powder that's still dried at the bottom of the bead. So yeah, works out really good. It takes me four to five, anywhere in between 10 beads of clear to cap, okay? I am so new at this, it's ridiculous. But I love that. Nail journey, man. It is what life stuff is made of, like journeys, getting to a point. Just repeating that process and a care clapping. Care clapping, <laughs> clear capping. I think I'm gonna go back and forth between these two nails, just trying to achieve like a decent apex and trying to make sure where that is. Super important with, with nails in general, but you know, long nails especially. I'm gonna make sure you got that strength. And you know, this is info I've picked up from influencers that are nail artists, okay? All capital letters in this game for years. Yeah. What'd you think about the colors that I used? Did you guys like them? What was your favorite color? Definitely hit me up in the comments. Like, talk to me, what's, what's going on? What do you think so far? What is like, what's the opinion, you know? guys I'm using my model ones number 14 brush hey they do like a pack of three and it's like 8 12 and 14 and I did catch them up on a sale one day and you know your girl hooked herself up with that package right yeah I don't use the 8 very much I'm leaning on to the 12 and the 14 now because I have been practicing for about a year so I'm beginner um, with a couple of practice runs under my belt so yeah I like a bigger brush these days. In the early days I was like, oh, too big. So I filed off camera and now I'm going in for the nail art and this is Mia Secret White. It's color 1323 and Mia Secret Cream, color number two, and that's also white. Now I'm mixing the cream and the nail polish together because I don't like how runny the polish is when you're painting and I don't like how thick the cream is when you're painting. So I'm looking for a good in-between where it lays flatter than the cream does, but it's not as runny as the polish is. And I'm using my dotting tool and the piece of paper that comes on the back of a form, guys. Like, hook yourself up if you don't got a palette. And this is a detailer brush I picked up at my nail supply store. It's just a small one. Like, you can get detailed brushes from anywhere. AliExpress, Amazon, 
and we're gonna go in with our planets. We're gonna do about three quarters of the planet on this nail. And I should, I know what you're thinking, use a longer detail brush, Lisa. You'd get a perfect circle with just like a flick of the wrist. Um, I've been practicing with this one for so long, it's kind of habit, and I actually do like it because it helps me control the situation a bit more. I take it in parts, you know? So with this circle, you really want to focus on the outside of the circle being perfect. Sorry, the sphere, since we're talking about planets. You want to focus on getting the curvature of the sphere on the outside nice and neat. And don't worry about the inside because we're going to fade the planet into itself real soon. It's going to be so cool. And I actually was inspired by a picture that I saw and I'm, I'm so terrible about like this right now with recalling where I've seen pictures, but I'm going to get better at giving credit where credit is due, posting pictures, um, adding Instagram names and everything. So yeah. Now this number six gel brush actually came in the package with my Model 1's cream, gel creams. So using this to blend it out. So as you can see, we're fading that planet in on itself. So see that inner line? Didn't really matter if you like mucked it up, right? Happy with that. So now I'm gonna go in with the, you know, with another spear on the index finger and I know, right, you're saying, girl, cure that before you mess that up. Uh, I did not. <laughs> I did not cure it before and I did not mess it up, so we're good. But we're taking a bit of brief, you know, a bit of a um, reverse method on this index finger. We really need to keep the inner part of the circle as curved as we can because we'll be fading out the, we're fading it outward. So that outer line, who cares, like whatever but I do end up messing the line at some point and having to go back, so that happened. Have you guys tried any Model 1's products? You know, I'm obviously just starting, so I can't really afford all the expensive stuff. But um, I'm definitely working on my foundation to support my nail art. Like, it has to be a solid foundation, like get your techniques down. And then after that, you know, products will work for you if you put in the time to figure out how they work. And with these, you have to do like maybe two coats, three coats, as long as you keep them nice and thin, um, you're good to go. And sometimes you get like little like lines running through, you know, from the strokes of the brush. I just go in with the base gel at the top before I apply top coat, just to smooth it out. So yeah, fading that spare outward with my gel number six brush, also from Model Ones. And I don't think I had enough gel, so yeah, mm -hmm, didn't have enough. Had to go go back to the to the supply. she thinks she is just messing stuff up <laughs> oh man and of course we're gonna let this cook for 30 seconds right although I wish I had left it in there for 60 seconds because on some portions I did have it bleed a little bit that white once I went over with a base coat so I'd recommend curing the creams for 60 seconds So now I'm coming in, um, just mucking about. <laughs> Never satisfied. Okay, finally cooked it. So now with this planet that has the ring around it, um, I'm gonna start drawing that in right now. So this is the inner line, you know, when closest to the planet. We're gonna, we're gonna draw two lines, inner and outer one. 
this is where I'm happy about my tiny detailer brush because I, I have a lot more control. Now we're going to do that second line, sort that out. And we are going to, once we've drawn these two lines, we're going to fade them you know, in the center. Just using the gel paint that we've already got on there to work it. Saves a lot of product, you know? You know what, I say save product, and then I realize you did not need all this white gel paint, girl, stop. <laughs> I, did, I did attempt to save it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we're fading it in. Have you guys ever tried a galaxy nail? Like, how did it go, you know? The first time I tried it, it was horrible. I didn't get it right until about the second try. I did like one finger on my silicone practice finger from Red Iguana, also in the Liza um, skin tone. So I didn't get it right right away. So how'd your experiences go? Are you still trying? Keep keep at it. I'm keeping at it, right? So, so you should too. I'm taking that same dotting tool I used to mix the paint and I'm just doing some dots. These are the bigger dots of all the dots I'm going to put on those two nails and though, that's because we're going to do some twinkle twinkle little stars. You will hear me sing on this, on this channel. You have been forewarned. <laughs> so we've got enough paint on there. Again, saving product, just pulling from the center of that paint in all directions. North, east, west, south. The camera died, guys. I'm so sorry I didn't get to see the full thing, but I'm coming in with more art, like dotting tool in, doing smaller dots for stars um, further away. Ones you can't really see twinkling, right? And of course, I'm not gonna cook it right away. I'm gonna go in on the middle finger, the pinky, and the thumb with large dots, like no more than minimum, you know, maximum of four and we're gonna do shooting stars on these nails. So just pulling from the center, there's a lot of gel polish to go around and just creating that tail. So, you know, you're, you're definitely, you definitely wanna release a little bit of that pressure that you're putting in as you go in, because when you're finishing it up with the tail, you're gonna get a nice like point if you just ease up a little, pull your brush upward a little bit, lighten your um, pressure. <laughs> and these lines did not have to be like perfect, but guys, I was tripping on some tripping <laughs> and kept at these lines for way too long. But what I am gonna mention um, is that you can see a few scratches obviously still on there. And what I do, especially because I'm gel painting right now, doing nail art, and even just because, I go in with a base gel just to get rid of those scratches, sort of fill them in, but also create a leveling surface area because of the gel paint. So yeah, there we go, Model 1's base gel. Curing that in there for 30 to 60 seconds. Showing you the one pinky and then we're gonna pop right into top coat. Ooh, model one's top coat, keeping it in the family. Yeah, brand friendly, right? Mm -hmm. And guys, that'll be it for this nail. Obviously, I'm gonna cook these in the baker for 30 seconds. Um, there's gonna be a finished photo, so I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely hit me up in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would absolutely love it if you would. And here's that silicone finger with the first galaxy look. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.